Hey everyone, and in this video, you're going to learn how to draw Pikachu from Pokemon. Alright, so like I mentioned in all of my previous videos, I've already created an outline for Pikachu. And what we're going to do later is basically this layer right here, we're going to draw over it, alright? I've done this so that the video doesn't become too long. Okay, so before even we do that, let's look at this first, alright? So, don't look at this whole picture as the whole thing, alright? Break it up. So, we got, of course, we got the years. Um, we got it still. And, okay, I have drawn this um, lightning symbol over here. Um, of course, this is not actually in the actual Pikachu drawing from the cartoons. No, it's actually, um, funny story. Okay, like you've seen the previous photo, the one that was actually done with the lightning and all that. That wasn't inspired by the Pikachu from the anime. That was actually inspired from Kid Flash. So that's why I've kind of drawn this um, Flash symbol over here, the lightning. Yes, uh, it's pretty funny, alright? So the years, of course we got its um, electricity chicks and something like that. Um, eyes, the hands. So this isn't a really hard drawing, that's why um, I've actually published this video very early. So I know that most of my videos come out weekly, but I've done this. It's actually very easy to do, so that's why it's out very quickly. I think it's like been four days since I uploaded how to do Earth Eagle. So yes, it's really easy, alright? So I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Okay. Alright, now, you can start off anywhere, you can even start off at the feet, you can start off at the hands, you can start off even at the tail, the thing is that it, this is all um, connected together, alright, if you do the hands, it will move all the way over here, it goes through the feet, it goes to the tail, it's all connected, alright, but of course I would recommend that you start off with the head part right here, um, okay, so, before I want to do that, um, you might want to see where you want... Okay, you know, this depends on your canvas size, alright? So, see where you want your the tips of the ears to end. So, for me, it's going to end over here, and the tail is going to end over here. Oops. Okay, a bit over here, alright. Okay, the feet, um, I didn't want to touch the ground. I mean, the bottom of the canvas over here, because I want to do the lightning strikes over here, alright? So that's why it's loading. And this depends on what you prefer. If you want the feet to be touching the, the edge over here, the canvas, then go ahead and do it. Or let's say you want the, the tail over here to be touching here. It's all completely up to you. Alright. So again, before I even I start, so let me just say that the app that I'm using is Sketchbook, so some of the brushes over here that I'm using is only exclusive to this app. So if you haven't got it, please get it, so that it's easier for me to teach you how to draw. Okay, now we're going to start. Alright, so I'm going to do the years first. Um, okay, we can start off at the head, right here, and then you can do the years. So, what I'm going to do, like I showed in my previous video, create another layer. Okay, for you, you don't have this layer right here, okay? So you're only going to have two layers right here. So this will be where you're going to do your drawings, and this is where you're going to be doing your guides. So over here, go under guides, ruler, curve ruler are going to be your two main things, right? So use a curve ruler, make sure it's all 90 degrees. Your canvas angle should be zero, ruler angle and zero. Take this and measure the tip or wherever you want it. So you want end over here, you draw a line. For me, I want it to end over here, so I drew a line right here. Okay, go back to my actual drawing. Take a curve ruler. Okay, make it a bit, um, spread it out a little bit. Okay, um, I think in the actual anime, I'm not sure. I kind of seen a few times. I think Pikachu had a um, 
a broad tip it wasn't sharp like this it was more towards like broad something i can't remember right but for me i wanted it sharp so i'm moving it sharp so let's take a curve ruler um angle zero basically just curve it a little bit and then you draw now you can end no matter where because you're doing the years first so imagine you don't have the head over here all right so same length over here again like this oops okay all right now you can do this or you can do the head first right here and then you can erase off any part of it it's completely fine up to you uh, the years I, okay, you don't have to do the years first, right? So let me explain it again. What you can do is that you can just do this layer, draw where you want the tip of the years to end, and then you draw the head first. This part right here, you draw the this part, this whole part right here. Once you've done that, then you draw the years. All right. okay so we need this again okay now raise it later oops okay let me just uh, go to my eraser so we're gonna erase this first all right okay okay remember that pikachu's head is special it's neither a circle nor an oval all right so basically it's like a um you could say like a straight line and then it's a slight curve and then oops okay let me just do it again okay so as i was saying it's a straight line and then a curve and then a straight line again and at the end it goes towards a curve now at this curve right here that's where your years are going to be all right that's where pikachu's years are going to be so the straight line basically just his head and then the curve is where the years are going to be so what you want to do is you can mark it down the curve is going to be from year to year or maybe from year to year okay i guess for this drawing it's gonna be from here maybe to where maybe over here now okay this is what i'm looking at um of course for you it can be a little bit different it doesn't exactly have to be like mine okay maybe for me it looks like okay this one's good all right so over here to over here yeah it looks good okay all right and then from here you could do um good my guides okay do the same thing again mark out at this point right here going layer okay now don't make it too um curvy of course it doesn't look good make it just slightly curved now of course i also didn't get this the first time around um but just keep trying until you find the curve that you like and compare okay this is a bit wrong the other one looks bigger so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start over now we're gonna start over we're gonna do this just again okay maybe uh, okay you see the curve actually extends a little bit all right so it's not straight but it's also a bit of curve over here so you can try to play around what you can do extend it a little bit all right okay let's try from this however okay uh let me just say this however sometimes it may not actually be the um the position of where your ears will be but it's actually more towards your curve 
so make sure that um, you don't have such a curvy um, ruler if slightly curved is good enough All right, let's see is it good yeah more or less All right so we're done okay don't worry about um, this part right here this this hole right here we can just come and erase in touch up it's, it's no problem All right okay now again straight and then over here it's not just a normal curve you can just try and do it like this because right here is where it's going to connect out to the hand all right um i think in some drawings okay maybe uh, i'm just trying to say is that maybe i think the hand starts off over here and then you know it does this one two three four and then it just i think i i've seen some drawings like this all right um okay that's perfectly fine there's no problem but for me i like it to be connected so that's why from the head over here i have connected it and towards the hand and this hand i mean um the head or the hand from whatever perspective you're looking at also connects on to the tail so that's why this drawing was very easy to do because it's all connected it's just connecting lines all right here is also the same thing okay maybe i made a mistake if one side is curved a little bit okay yes this is my mistake um i didn't notice it okay so basically okay and then use an eraser okay remember use um your own brush try to find a brush that you like i've mentioned this in my previous two videos for example for me i love the art pencil brush so it's the brush that i'll be using most of the time okay okay Sorry about this, let me just um, do this one again. Okay. Alright. And this part over here. Now you can really start do one part of it and you can move on everything. Or what you can do if you really want, you can just actually do this part and connect it to the hands. But, um,. Okay, you don't actually have to do the hands. What you can do is that uh, you can just do this hand first. Okay, I'll just show you how to do the hand. It's actually very simple. Um, just like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. If basically what you're trying to do is I just try and draw use and um, do it five times because there's five fingers. Um, if you really are very detailed, what you can do is that okay, like for example, this, all right? This middle finger, ring finger, I think. Pinky finger, okay, pinky finger is the last. This one, the middle finger over here, alright? Or you can actually just do them the same size, it doesn't really matter because it's, um, its fingers are very small. Okay, now... Okay, hold. Okay. Done. Form, okay, now... Wherever you want your hand to be, you can make it from here, and then you can go it down. Okay, of course, you're going to make it from here. Then this part over here, they cancel it out, you'll erase it, alright? So for me, it starts off at the end of its um, curve, alright? So over here is curving, and now over here is straight. So this way it ends off, and this is where it's... Uh, torso is going to be all right the outline for the torso is going to be over here and of course this torso connects on to the lightning or you can do it from the cheeks over here, the curve but i'm going to do it from the torso all right because the torso has got the two points okay you're moving on to the foot okay now the foot is completely up to you you can make it um broad like this 
you can make it sharp like this up to you i'm gonna make it sharp okay although i know that pikachu is supposed to be like um okay how do i say okay pikachu is supposed to be a cute character right but um in this drawing i'm trying to make it fierce so i can do the lightning effect and all that so that's why i'm making it sharp but if you really want you can just make it uh broad all right it actually doesn't really matter so much because okay the main thing of this drawing okay um think about yourself right when you clicked on this video or when you saw this thumbnail the first thing that you saw was actually the the overall picture of the pikachu and the lightning right be honest so that's why the foot um it is really really small and it doesn't really matter So when drawing, uh, you actually don't have to make everything so detailed. We are focusing right here on the bigger picture, alright? So you look at this, okay? And when you look at this, you see that some lines are a bit off. But when you look at the bigger picture again, I'm going to draw this arm over here and everything. It doesn't really come into an effect, you see? So, I mean, if you really want, you can actually just um, erase it off, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, unless that thing um, affects the fill option, right? The fill option, it's um, it detects any like um, how do I say? If gaps are around, then it of course um will spill out the fill option. The color will spill out if there are gaps detected. So unless it somehow affects that, then for example like this, can I cover it up? Then yeah, alright, okay. So now let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now we're gonna connect it up. Okay. Okay, so for example, see my first drawing, um I did it over here, but in this drawing I am making it a bit higher. If you look at the bigger picture, it's Okay, I know you can see a size different, but again, it doesn't really matter so much. If you really want, what you can do is I can draw. Okay, let me show you, alright? Go to the guide. Okay, over here again. Basically, you just really want to see how um, the size of this part over here is, right? So, I'm going to measure that. Okay, again, this app, if you go into its ruler, it doesn't have the... Um, the marking so it doesn't tell you how what's what's the length or anything so we do make sure the correct layer again measure it over here and then bring it down about okay um this depends on which arm you want to use if you're going to use okay for me it's my right okay the right arm over here then you're going to use this length so this part is to bring up or if you're going to use the left then it depends all right so it's completely up to you if you are figuring where to draw the arm first then make your own size make your own interpretation or anything a bit of difference doesn't really matter so yes i just have to say that all right now just like that we are almost done all right we have already done okay let me just cancel cancel Yep, yeah, okay, we're already done with the main figure of Pikachu. All we have to do right now to complete Pikachu, just complete, not the lightning effect or anything yet. Complete Pikachu is just um to do the tail, its eyes, cheeks, mouth, nose, everything, right? Okay. Oops. We hide this. We don't need this right here. Okay, go back to this. Okay, now the lightning is actually, okay, the tail is very simple, all right? Think of it as like um okay you know how there are some like um school questions very simple like find the parameter of the shape it's exactly like that all right so what i'm trying to say is that at the curve right here okay right at the edge you do a straight line all right you can do this like you can do a straight line then straight line then straight line oops hold on sorry make it a zero Okay, use a ruler straight line like this straight line okay you can do like this or just simply adding a curve so you can tilt your screen 
if you're using this app that's your screen um laptop i guess it's the option to tilt the canvas um sorry you're tilting the canvas not really your screen sorry that's my fault you can turn it a little bit it doesn't really matter and then draw like this make a sharp edge right here and then do the same thing It's really not sharp. Okay, now for the sharp, you can make it broad. Okay. It's um, uh, it's really up to how you want to draw it. If you want it to be sharp, like what I'm doing, then go ahead. If you want it to be um, broad, also by all means do it. Oops. Oh, here yeah, there's a problem. Okay. Okay, there's also another thing that I want to tell you guys. Um, okay, what you can do is you can just go to the color option. For Pikachu, it still is going to be yellow. So, okay, I'm going to show you an example afterwards, okay? Let me just do this. Okay, basically, I'm just going to explain, right? So, right now, I'm doing the black outline, right? So, when I add in the colors, it's going to actually show a little bit of the outline. It's um, black in color. But, if you really want... You can basically just um, make it all in yellow, do the outline in yellow. And so when you use the fill option, I hope, I mean, okay, I haven't tried this yet. I'm just, I just thought of it. All right. I'm telling you guys no. So just do it in yellow, do this whole part over in yellow. And when you use the fill option, hopefully there will be no complications or anything. And it covers up completely in yellow. So this whole part will be in yellow. Everything over here. So you won't actually see the black outline anymore. It will be like a nice tail with like no outline. It's like use the paintbrush and you did it all by yourself. Okay, now, okay, for, okay this perspective, right? Okay, let me tell you the perspective. So... It still is supposed to be like um like this, right? Okay, it's a very terrible drawing of it. It's really short time. But okay, you get it, right? Then of course it's a Pikachu over here, something like that. Okay. Okay, this part's a bit a bit wrong. Okay, never mind. Okay, so it's still supposed to be something like this, right? So like a building blocks, right? But if you can imagine that it's still the starting part of it, one part of it is coming out from its body and the other one is still behind its body, right? So the tail goes up and then it's behind its cheeks over here. There's another one more part over here that's behind its cheeks. And I think that's, yeah, that's it. So there's one part behind its cheeks and there's one whole part right here that's behind him. Okay, now this isn't the starting, alright? So imagine that Pikachu starts maybe over here and maybe he gets some building blocks. So, I mean, the tail, the part of the tail maybe starts somewhere, I don't know, maybe down here. And so it builds up and it starts over here where you can actually see because most of the tail is behind maybe somewhere over here. Okay, so yeah. We're done with, I guess, the most important thing of Pikachu. Alright, right here, you're already done with the outline, most of it. You've done the tail, hands, feet, ears. Now, the only thing we'll do is the mouth, eyes, and the electricity thing, otherwise it's called, alright? Now, this is very, very simple, alright? Um, take a ruler. You don't need to go to the other layer, right? Just take the same ruler. Uh, I think it's my idea of 15, right? What's in here? Oh, so in here, okay. Okay, let me get 30, right? Okay, 30. Draw a small line over here. Do the same thing again. Go back to 30. Is this 30? No, 31, 30, 32. No. Oops, sorry. Okay, 30 over here. Draw another... Okay, it doesn't matter how long you draw. You can even draw it like this. 
okay if you draw like this don't worry all right just draw your circle okay draw the eye somewhere in between later just take an eraser and erase it off all right there's nothing to worry about okay so i'm not gonna do it oh yeah i'm gonna show you how to do it all right okay all right let me go with the guys take this circle thing make it to okay don't make it into such a big circle make it into a small one um okay zoom in a little bit small because remember you want to add in this part too and this part is the bigger circle so trying to make it too big make it into a small tiny circle like this around here draw the eyes okay now of course this doesn't look right it looks messed up so let's take any razor and make it shorter a little bit maybe over here Mm hmm yeah okay then it is oops okay hold on just something ever okay try to make the eyes um connect to the eyebrow yep okay so basically just trying to make it connect okay let me just do this again okay this is my fault sorry um make it zero again use the guy circle Okay, make it connect over here and then draw it. Okay, good. Again, now use the eraser and then make it a bit smaller. Something like this. Okay, maybe a bit smaller over here. Okay. Never mind. Okay. And then the same thing over here. Now, okay, um, well, okay, what I did, sorry, okay, what I did was, basically, you zoom out, you can see both eyes here, right? Okay, and then you make it into, okay, something small, like, maybe like this. Okay, so, okay, maybe do something like this. Okay, for example, this is going to be your eye size, right? So, you draw one part over here. Maybe is it? Yep. You draw one part over here. Okay, no, Okay, you draw one part over here, you move up, you draw the same part over here again. Okay, so that's how I did it, alright? So, zoom out, okay, make sure that you can see both eyes, but of course don't zoom out until like this, that it becomes so small. Zoom out until like a reasonable amount, maybe over here, okay? And then draw both eyes where it can actually be the same size. Because if you're going to zoom in at one point, you're going to do, let me okay, let's say this part. I guarantee that you actually not remember at what number you zoom in. Okay, for example, I didn't see, okay, for me, personally, I don't see how far I zoom in. It can be some random number, 150 or something, 1372, I don't remember all this. So what I do is that when I can see both eyes, make it into a reasonable size, draw over here, and then draw over here. So they're both... Okay, they won't of course be the same size because your starting point, for example, the eyes starting point was over here. Basically this part, you've seen the eclipse over here, is this part right here, the one in the middle, the black dot. Then maybe my other eyes maybe started off a little bit down here. So, of course it won't exactly be like the same, but again, it's the bigger picture, right? Okay, now, same thing again, what I'm going to do. Okay, these two right here, they aren't circles, they are ovals, alright. So, it's a guide. Make it small. Okay, make, okay, first it's going to be a circle, right? Okay, then just stretch it out a little bit. Perfect, I think. Oh, a bit too big. We can make it bigger a little bit. Okay, this size is good enough. It's like rotation. Okay, we got it the size over here. Oh, wow, actually perfect size. Okay. Oh yes, okay. 
this is something I didn't know, it's actually a perfect size for my previous drawing okay so yeah now most easiest part of this whole drawing the mouth the mouth and the nose nose is basically just you draw a straight line and then you draw something like this oh sorry okay so basically like a triangle all right so okay i'm gonna show you how to do it again you draw a straight line over here. You can actually, it doesn't make it straight, alright? It's so small that it actually doesn't matter, alright? So you just draw a line. It goes down. But don't make it sharp. And then it goes up. So it's neither sharp. Okay, it's a triangle. But the tip of it isn't sharp, alright? Okay, this tool maybe are, you could say. But this part definitely not. Make it a little bit broad, alright? And try and make it small. You know, you want a small. Pikachu is a small nose. Now, this part of it's very easy, you just have to draw like um, this. It's like you're trying to draw two smiley faces connected to each other, alright? And draw them um, closest to the nose, or you could do like a halfway point. Now, actually, it doesn't matter how high you want to go, you can make it even like go like this. It doesn't really matter, alright? Oops. Okay. And this is Pikachu. This is the actual Pikachu. What? Okay. Um. Okay. There's a re okay. There's a reason why in the previous drawing, uh, the thumbnail. Okay, I did this whole years as yellow. I know in the anime it's um, yellow, until over over year and then black over year, but because my background, this whole part of here is gonna be black in color. So that's why. Okay. Of course, I tried it out. I put a black part over here whole background with black it just completely cancelled out this part so it basically looks like this right basically looks like this whole part is being cancelled off and, and it looks really really it looks something like this imagine all black over here right so that's why i made the ears completely yellow now of course if you're going to do a plain white background of course um i'm going to show how to do it right Simply take a curve ruler, or you can do this freestyle. Curve ruler over here, and what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna use um this part. Okay, make it a little bit curved. Okay, you're not gonna use this part exactly. You can use any part over here. You can only use this part, and then just do a small curve, and then fill this part with yellow, this part with black. Simple done. All right. Same thing goes for the other year, but this is facing this way, so of course this is going to be facing this way. Of course, Rian doesn't look so good, that's why I recommend it to always use a ruler. So you want to do freehand. This is how it's going to look like. Yellow, black. Okay. So if my drawing is special, I won't, need, I won't be needing these lines. Uh, because they're all going to be completely yellow so okay now i'm going to do the flash thing all right the kid flash thing um let's draw two lines diverging from each other okay draw okay so the part with the longer line this part right here you are going to draw a shorter this line so this is going to be longer this one's going to be shorter all right this one goes down and then it connects and it's done if you really want to erase okay make it better a little bit of course use a ruler um the degrees doesn't matter for me was um let me just check i think it was 10 90 sorry i think it was 80 right because let me just check oh yeah it was about 80 oh 60 wow Things in right. Okay. Okay, maybe 60 here. Yeah. It's not showing 60 or so. Okay, but somewhere, okay, well, somewhere I want 60. And this part. Ah, okay, yeah, 80, correct. Alright, yeah. So, try and diverge them apart. Um, oops, I'm doing. Okay, and then. A sharp tip right here. 
Okay, so I don't make them until like they're completely black over here. Um, try to make try to have some um white spaces in between. All right. We'll go back over here. Um. Okay, I guess yeah. Okay. And I think that's it, right? I'm missing anything else. No. Okay, so we won't actually be needing this anymore. Now I'm going to teach you how to do the effects and all that, right? Okay, first, let's do the coloring for Pikachu itself. Just go to any yellow, make it bright yellow, alright? If you're using this app, take note of the number 59150. Okay, don't make it too bright, so like this, alright? Just make it to the normal 50. Okay, you can make any right? Okay, but just don't choose towards green or don't choose towards orange, right? Make it a bit yellow, so... Yeah, okay, 59 was a good one, yep. And I'm going to make it down to 50. Yep, okay, this is good. Okay, first of all, hold on. Sorry, this is my mistake again. Okay, I always forget this, but... Okay, don't forget this, even though I keep forgetting it. But um, when you're done with any work, actually... Actually, if you're using any app, once you're done with any work, check through completely, make sure that um, there is no gaps in between because as I explained earlier, if there are gaps, the app will just like fill up everything and we don't want that, alright? So, we call it, uh, okay, we just call it like a colorless leakage, alright? So, it just basically leaks through everywhere and then you have to find the missing gap in between. It's um, troublesome. So try to avoid it. I think this looks good. This looks good. Okay, and just do the touch up over here first. Okay. Um. Oops, wrong color. Okay, yes, um, I also recommend that, um, okay, if you're using this app, why is it not? Yeah, never mind. Okay, if you're using this app, okay, I know what I just did was a terrible demonstration of what I'm about to say, but I'm not going to say it anyways. If you're using this app, good for you, there's a last color over here. I'm not sure about other apps, but I know this app has because I'm using it for a very long time. Last color basically just allow you to pick the previous color, so... Yeah, that's a good function, I guess. Okay, let me just part and just fix it up a little bit. Okay, I mean you can do this after even after you do the um the fill option, but once I start doing the whole um lightning things, the effects and all that, it's be too late to change. So better to do it now. Okay. Okay, just changing it. Okay, now the three main brushes that I'll be using for all of my videos. Okay, make it four maybe. Okay, if I continue, I just say it's going to be art pencil. Mm, okay, glow maybe I could be using neon more. So that's two. Third will be the um, what is it? okay, this one texture essential pencil pal. And lastly, it's going to be eraser. It's considered a brush, right? So, eraser, hard eraser from Legacy. Um, okay, basically, hard eraser is basically just any eraser that um, erases well. Okay, for example, if I'm going down to maybe the soft eraser, and I don't really like it because it's really, really big. I prefer the hard eraser. Of course, you can just change it in the settings, but I want this, right? Okay. Let's change it back into it again. Okay. I guess it's okay. Okay, don't mind this little um black spots over here because when I end the colors, they should also be gone. But I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. Of course, the human eye we don't actually see everything. There will some that uh 
you know invisible naked eye so oops okay it looks like it's good hands okay okay tail all right that's good okay now i'm going to explain my point all right for example now you're going to see this black color outline right so if you don't want it what you can do take the art pencil over here you can basically just do like this of course um this will take you a lot more time because um okay I mean, if you're watching this video i'm going by it slowly so you can follow up keep up a little bit okay at the end of the video of course i'll just leave the drawing out so you can try and see if you miss out some things okay but um usually i do it black pen, uh, do my outline in black first then use a the color fill if i really want to make the black go away the outline color and everything then i will just um, overlap it with whatever color for example this yellow i am just going to do like this okay i i can't use this pencil maybe maybe a paintbrush yeah maybe i think i have to make it smaller in size maybe this size is good okay so yeah it's gonna look something like this imagine like this okay no outline okay if you really like it then sure go ahead it's i'm um, okay i'm not gonna show it it's basically just very simple um basically the outline part over here you're just going to have to erase it off by doing it yellow in color right so it's gonna be something like this let's keep doing yeah of course this may take a longer time so that's why if you're going to start doing this i would recommend you to watch like a tutorial video like this so that at least you know where the lines are supposed to be right okay so everything looks good right now i'm going to go back to the fill option the years okay both perfect all right so yeah the arrow actually i'm going to make it towards orange a little bit okay now of course the eyes are still normal when we black I'll add, I'll add in the white color spot later um now you can for these for these parts over here you don't just do them red okay if you want to do them completely red it's fine in my in the thumbnail it's actually over here this color a little bit let me see. something like this okay it's a bit pinkish i remember it's a bit pinkish I don't know how much I got the color. Maybe I did over here a little bit. Okay, maybe somewhere over here. Okay, yeah. Okay, this something like how the thumbnail was, the color. But I think I'm gonna go for the full red. Okay, remember, um, for my videos, actually, the thumbnails are not the same as what I'm doing over here. The thumbnails are the actual one that I drew after practices. Okay, this one wasn't, this one didn't really take me a lot of practices. I've actually done on paper a Pikachu drawing so that's why this was very simple for me it's like I've already memorized how to do this right so as I said yep I did on paper so for doing it on paper it's also not that hard it's very simple right uh, of course do have okay I recommend if you're doing a pencil um okay let me just check my own stuff right okay I'm using a felt Okay, let's check. Yeah, okay, a felt pen. Alright. Um Okay, the color of red that I use is called Let me just find it. Hopeful red. Alright. Um yellow was funny yellow. Son of names. Of course in my drawing I didn't have this part over here. Oops. I didn't have the arrow part over here, I didn't have it. It is just completely yellow. Um, red was hopeful red. Of course, black is black. Yellow was funny yellow, and yep, that was it. Um, because I'm doing it on paper, so I didn't have the materials to really create the effects that I'm going to do over here. All right, first take an eraser. The eyes. Okay, you don't actually need to do both eyes edges. Okay, it's very simple. Just do a small little circle over here. Okay, it looks like a circle. That's good enough. Again over here. 
Okay, you know that it's somewhere down here. So basically just make a circle down here. And look again. Okay, make the circle be a bit bigger. Now, okay, to make a circle, basically just, um, if you're using your finger, then, oops, using your finger, then just move it in a circular rotation. Same goes for pen. It's pretty obvious, but if you need it, then, yep. There you have it, Pikachu. It's done. Alright, um, mm, Okay, maybe I could make this part the same, right? Use this. Okay, yes, I'll try this, okay? Erases. I think, yeah, let's try it. Make erases can. No, okay, that's my mistake. Sorry. I actually thought that erases could be used to do in yellow if you put your, okay, for example, my eraser is has a yellow color below it, right? So I thought that it could actually erase, but it comes out yellow color, but it's just a paintbrush. Okay. Okay, maybe you'll be doing a bit over here. Okay, maybe it looks about the same. Yep, okay. Mm. Come back to this. Okay, does it... Does anything else need to be done? Just, okay, before... Okay, when you're done with this, do not create the effects. First. Okay, so my other videos, I didn't mention this. When you're done with the outline and the coloring for the inner part, this is what we call by the... Oops, what color was it? Okay, yeah. Okay, this, okay, for example, the years, this part over here is what we call by the inner coloring. When you're going to do the effects or basically the outer coloring over here, basically the lightning part I'm going to do over here, do not do it straight away, alright? Do it after you have checked through your inner coloring. So, inner coloring looks good. I like it a lot, okay? You can stop at here. This is really very nice, alright? Going further, one more step. Make it to black. Everything looks nice. Oh no, let me just check. Okay, over here. Okay, this is going to be a very important and crucial part. Make sure there's no holes or anything like that. No gaps. Okay, yeah, I don't think so. Use our black. You should just remove this already. Okay. Do under okay. Do not do the background. All right. Do at this layer. Okay. okay let me show you what we do in background. Um. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Maybe they are both the same. Still. Okay. Not bad. Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay, now let me just check what happened if I were to do it at the um, oh okay yeah. If you're doing a background right, okay for example I made the eyes over here with the reflection right. If you're going to be doing the background, background basically covers up everything. So whatever you erase, it doesn't matter. All right, it covers up everything. Okay, for my other videos, I've been drawing Beyblade, uh, face mods. So basically, they have some parts over there that are filled with holes, white in color, or, or some colors, okay. Okay, this is really quite subtle. I didn't notice it, but, yep, okay. So, I recommend you not to do the background, but more towards this layer, right? Or this layer over here, make it black. Okay, and of course this part too. Okay, if you don't understand why, okay, imagine that the, um, Okay, so imagine that if I do the black over here, can't you see that the tail is actually more towards like, um, it's not covering up this part right here, okay? The tail, is because that when we're filling up the option, there's no gaps over here, so that's why it's white, but in actual fact, we want spaces in between like this to be black, to be whatever color, right? Okay. Looks nice, looks nice, everything looks good. Okay, now we're gonna start. That's why I say my main is gonna be pencil pal over here. Make it to yellow. Okay, she basically just use color picker and choose this yellow over here. Now, 
the way you're going to do this lightning is very um, messy, all right? I'm going to call it messy. Okay, so you know that Pikachu's lightning comes out from this chick over here, right? Oops. Hmm, so. Oops, okay, I think so, standard. Yep, okay, so we're going to standard. Okay, uh, in, I think my, yeah, okay, both my other two videos, I've put the pencil pal under the glow, but for this, just for this, if you're using this app, change it to standard, alright? If you're doing pencil, or sorry, if you're doing it on paper, then I'm sorry, but I'm not sure how you're going to create this effect. Okay, maybe you can use a... Okay, I, I don't know whether color pencils would work. I didn't try this. But if you're using on an app, there's this kind of effect, then good for you, alright? So, basically, okay, so start over again. Okay, from this part over here, create one point. Okay, so you want this point to be over here. Maybe a point to be over here. Okay, a small one. Okay, yep. It must visible to you, alright? It's quite big. So you're going to just do electricity. Okay, imagine that electricity is just like jolting out. So create it in like a wave formation, alright? Now you can do it all the way until the end of your canvas, like what I'm going to do. Okay, let me just do this again. Going until the end of your canvas, then it means that basically you're going to just zoom out a lot. Okay, so I can hear that my phone is shaking. Okay, don't just do it from here, right? So this is good already. Um, do it from this part too, okay? Okay, now look how like um, messy this is, but that's supposed to be the way. Okay, make it all in go in one direction. Don't make it like, you know, there's some lightning going over here or something like that. Um, okay, I think that we humans are very prone to like um, things going in a certain direction at one direction we see that as a nice thing right so do it at one direction right so it's going this way okay of course this side is going to be going this way this way all right you won't have okay common sense okay you won't have this part going up okay it's funny all right you won't have this part over here going this way okay no so Certain points, um, okay, you're gonna just do it over here like this, okay, from the years to, okay, especially at the tip of the year, trying to make it go, like, it's extending upwards, alright, you can, inter you can, you can, like, um, interconnect, okay, try not make it interconnect, sorry, Okay, from this year to oops. Okay. Okay, now if you can see that's good for you, but um uh, you can see how this actually creating an effect, right? You can see like this all the thunder shots from Pikachu. Again, funny story, this was not inspired from Pikachu even though it's um Okay, even though it's Pikachu, I didn't get this lightning idea from Pikachu. It came actually from Flash, Kid Flash actually. So, yep, this is very unexpected and weird. Okay, at the top of the years, don't make it like go down. Try to make it go up. Because we want to lift the down part over here to this years. Sorry, to this arm um, cheeks. Okay, you can start anywhere, okay? It doesn't matter from where you start. Okay, as long as you are creating... Oops. Okay, as long as you're creating the effects, it actually doesn't really matter. So, just keep on like... Okay, it's like more towards scribbling, I would say. Okay. Of course, now you're going to see that we have a problem. Um, 
Of course, you can't go through over here. So, of course, this Pikachu stale. Use it to your advantage, right? Okay, so this part over here is done. Okay, use a Pikachu stale to exile. Okay, so imagine it's going like Pikachu over here. Okay, you don't actually have to create it all the way towards the edge of the canvas, alright? Okay, for example, okay, this canvas, okay, I showed you in the previous video that I want to do this like a square, okay? But then I thought rectangle is so much better because I want to draw my Pikachu large and I also want to create these ripple effects. So that's why I'm doing it in a square, okay, so I mean, I'm doing a rectangle, it looks like a square, but it's a rectangle, right? So, over here, okay, don't forget about this parts too. Try to like shake your hand, okay? If you have shaky hands, then I think this will be like the best part for you. Now, I have shaky hands too, that's why I, before even I do my drawings, I need to practice a bit first, so that I get the emotion of it. I think this happens for almost every drawer I'm pretty sure I'm not so sure but um, I do have shaky hands so the main reason why videos take longer to publish is because I need to practice alright so it's done you basically have like a floating Pikachu with lightning coming out everywhere now you can think of it two ways alright this is all mental perspective, alright? You can think of it as electricity in the background, alright? Notice how this part is like in the background, alright? Or, you can think of it as like actually coming out from his cheeks over here and spreading on. It's completely up to you to believe what you see. For me, actually, now when I'm looking at the bigger picture, I can actually see that it's actually from the background. It's like electricity coming to Pikachu, not from Pikachu. So if you want to create that effect, then the lightnings will start coming towards him, okay? Something like this. You know what? I may just want to do another drawing, okay? Okay, so this is how it's supposed to look like. Okay. Now, if you want, okay, I can show you how it's supposed to be if you want electricity coming from it. But this is already electricity coming to it, if you can see it, right? Look how electricity comes towards its cheeks, right? Think about it from perspective. You can think that because I drew it from its feet, the so electricity coming out from its feet, or you can see that I actually did not connect this, right? I didn't do it just because, you know, I didn't feel like connecting them, okay? Somewhere is not connected on purpose. What I'm trying to show is that from the bottom somewhere, whatever black hole, there's there is sound there electricity is coming up and it's going towards pikachu that's what i'm creating for and coming in over here is coming to its cheeks that's basically what i'm going for all right and but yeah that is it this is the end of the video i hope you enjoy it also thank you for a lot of views likes and watch time for my other two videos i hope that this video can get a lot of likes too also don't forget to comment down what you want me to draw i can try to draw it i'm just drawing this just to get uh, video uploaded so you can see the skill see if you like it what you want me to improve and everything all right so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time